now. Life as a new parent can be a bit confusing, really. All you want is the best for your baby, but there's a bewildering array of advice out there. Yeah, now there's a new one to add to the mix. Yeah, a UNICEF definitely. child health advisor has independently released a DVD telling parents not to feed puree food to their baby. She's warning that it's not only unnecessary, but could slow down the child's development. So, do we need to be changing the way that we feed our babies? Dr. Rosemary Leonard is here with some sane advice as ever, and Janie Lee Grace, who's just written a guide to bringing up babies and toddlers. Welcome Good both. Morning. Straight to you first, Rosemary. I'm, I'm in the dock then. Everybody is. <laughs> no, 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 and you mustn't worry. I, I, I do not think, I mean, I think we need to take on board the fact that this woman is releasing a DVD, and interesting UNICEF have said she is acting in a personal capacity. In other words, they are not endorsing this advice. It's about chewing, isn't it? It's Her about point chewing. Is that it doesn't encourage the baby to chew. So, but, but on the other hand, yeah, we've all, every mother will have had a situation where you've tried to get give your baby solids when they're a bit older than six months, you know, nine months a year, and they've choked. And that is not, you know, we don't want babies choking. Mm. Certainly, I don't, you know, the, there is a place for not giving them complete mush when they're a year old. But you have to have a halfway house between breast milk and solids. And that is pureed food in my book. Um, what do you think, Jenny Lee? Is there, yeah. is there a halfway house? Or can you go straight from milk to solids with nothing well, in between? Well, I think, I think the really important issue here is that we should be concentrating on making sure they've got breast milk for six months or as close to that as, that as you can get. I think the confusion is when people mistake that kind of whinginess that often is with babies around four months, often because they're starting to teeth, and they think, oh, that must be hunger, and then they go straight to foods. And, and obviously at that stage it can only be pureed. They wouldn't be able to hold anything. Often they can't sit up to even digest food. So I I think often babies are started too early on, on solids and actually if you wait to six months then you can give them yeah pureed food or even if they can sit up and hold it they can hold a lovely little bit of broccoli in their sticky little fingers and it's great and they actually enjoy both and I think it's the range that's really okay, important. Range. Listen we've got a bit of the advice here let's just see what we're talking about. Let's look forward to beginning the weaning process with their baby. It represents a new chapter in their lives and is a sign that the baby is growing up. If he is given the chance, a six-month-old baby will pick up a piece of food and take it to his mouth, where he will feel it and taste it, and may even bite off a piece and chew it. He probably won't swallow very much at first, but this doesn't matter because to him, this isn't about eating, but about finding out about the world. Yeah. See, my concern is that if, if you swallow a bit, he could have Choke, choked, choked, choking on it. And I think it's... I know, you've really got to be incredibly be vigilant, haven't you? Very, I did, very The vigilant. number of times I've had to reach in and scoop out a bit of food because <laughs> oh, yes, it looks... little finger. Uh, don't you think? <laughs> I do, I do. That was just me on my breakfast class. <laughs> <on. laughs> you know, the interesting thing as well is that as adults, we eat effectively pureed food, don't we? And it hasn't sort of stopped us. I don't mean all the time, but, you know, we have soups and casseroles and mm. mashed potato. Mm. You can't really expect a six-month-old baby to be able to handle a fork at that stage. So I really think it's a, a mixture is fine. Absolutely introduce some finger foods. I mean, I, f I found that um, little rice balls are fantastic. You can make your own little tiny little balls from, from brown rice or quinoa, and it's fantastically good for them. And they love that, and it's very soft, but they're using their fingers and a little bit of the chewing action I as mean, well. But there is that issue before six months, isn't there, Sean, where you feel the baby at about four or five months wants something more it's substantial, over for you know, your and, food. It, and they can't get the food, so the, the puree fits in there, that they're growing fast. Yeah, I mean, the other thing is, there's a huge flaw in her argument, because she's saying there, he won't necessarily swallow much of it. Well, babies need nutrition, and particularly so. after six months, they need, they do need some food, and what they like are soft textures to begin with, but then you can change them slowly but surely, give them slightly more lumps, and what I try and advocate, and I know it's difficult for working mums, is trying to give home-cooked food, mm. which you push in put in your own blender at home and then you can freeze it in ice boxes and then give a little bit at a time. Yeah, and also you must remember there's loads of fast food already kind of provided by God, if you like. You know, you just slice open an avocado, you know, and you've got bananas and all sorts of great things that you can take with you on the run. And they're incredibly nutritious and healthy. And, you know, they don't need any packaging. Is it the case that all babies are different, so therefore there will be some babies who want to reach out, who want to eat a little bit earlier than, than six months? I know the official advice is wait the six months before you start them yeah. on any sort Yeah, of I mean, it's, th there, is, it, there is not a policy of one size fits all. And that are some babies, particularly larger babies, who at five months 
are sleeping very badly, the mothers are worn out, keep mm. giving them breast milk, and it does appear that they need solids a little bit earlier, but certainly no earlier than, than five months. You often find they sort of sit there and then look very hungry, look at your plate and That's grab right, a roast potato. Yeah. <laughs> so all those good ideas of purees go out the window anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks thank very you. much. Thank thank you. You. And don't worry about all those purees. Well, I started them <laughs> on four months, and now I'm worrying that I started a month early. You can't really. Yeah. There is no you know, manual. He's all right. There is no he's manual. manual. He's going to learn to chew. <laughs> Yeah, it's above. Thank you. <laughs>